going on guys today we're back on the farm for another one hopefully we want to make some new videos but first we're gonna show you the chicken and it's really weird where's the eggs where's it at oh is it the black one yep the black one right there so you see or is it this one right here yeah that one he's already got a wig on Look at it, look at him. Is he strange? <laughs> Isn't he strange? It got like a puff ball on his I hair. know, it's like he's wearing a dandelion hat or something. It's wrong. <laughs> and he kind of messed up. Also got these guys. Those are the Cornish crosses. They're the meat birds. The meat birds? Mm -hmm. And we are actually ordering the next round to be what we can breed ourselves in the Cornish crosses. <coughs> Let me do something like this. Hopefully my cow don't overheat this. Those are ones that we hatched from eggs, except for the little parrot guy. Parrot guy. Yep, those are homegrown on the farm, except for this guy. Oh, that's interesting. Well, how about we show... Oh, yeah, the, these plants here. Tell us what are all these plants. Let's see. These are morning glory. This is the vegetables. Those are morning glories. This is dianthus, carnations. This is carnations. This is um, moonflowers. That's, uh, that's clematis and that's bamboo. Nice. So why is this not under all the oil? It's because it's not pine nuts. <coughs> well, it's on heat map. Oh. Its growth is not stimulated by light. It's stimulated by warmth from the soil. Mm. So he's on a heat lamp, and he gets enough sun from there. Those, those are quarters of tomatoes that went bad in the kitchen about four days ago, and your grandpa dropped them in soil, and now we have tomato plants. Nice. Wait, so you've grown... So you gr gr have grown a tomato plant out of the rotten tomato? Yeah. Yeah, it went bad in the kitchen and he put it in there and now we have tomato plants. And those tomato plants will be similar to these tomato plants. Yeah. So let's go see the cows. Let's mm -hmm. just do a whole update on the farm basically. This will be like a- I you through. I was waiting for this to be a short, but this will be more like a five minute long video, but- Oh yeah, but it is. It goes all the way out to the front beds now. Are you gonna move? Um, my clock, my clock. Not in. Has she done better at that, or? Not really. Not she really. still doesn't quite understand what we're telling her. She wants to do it right. She just doesn't understand. Alrighty, so we've made it. So you told me that this barn was quarantined. The second one. Oh, yeah. She went when she was sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Got clipped. Whoa! Okay, yeah, don't run up on. Walk right into it. They have no fear. Hey, Tomahawk. Hey, T Bone. Hey. Why is his lead gone? I don't know. Grandpa took it off of him at some point and didn't feel the need to. Man, you were guys getting kind of big, though, since yeah. last time I seen you. And you guys are like the friendliest cows, you know? Friendly. Yeah. You guys are friendlier than not these like last cows. Not like that old heifer. <laughs> well, you are a heifer, right? Nope. These are both these are both uh, steer. Have you guys ever wondered? Because you're with your cattle, mm -hmm. but then there's the odd one here. She thinks she's a cow now. I think. No, I'm not edible. <laughs> I am not edible. <laughs> do they still do that? Yeah. They still try to eat people. Don't let, don't let them bite you. Mm. They don't yeah. know better. But yeah, something like that. She could never get her teeth on me, so yeah. it's it's safer. But if you want to stick a fist down, she'll lick on your fist. Hey, have you tomahawk? If you guys, your manners. if you guys ever wonder if I got bit by a cow, yes, I have. <laughs> First time I stuck my hand in his mouth, yeah, he bit me. He got me. <laughs> so update with Sandy. Well, not really much of an update. Yeah, I don't really know how to. That's where Sandy was. I don't really know how to do describe it but we should we got the flu so we're gonna make a grave for her or? um grandpa put her somewhere oh nice. and there are pigs yep and there's a cow 
You gonna butt me? Cause I can butt yeah, you back. Yeah, I will. Go ahead and get your knee. You guys are just. What is this? Is will this shock me? Will this no. shock? No, it's just a hose. No, I thought it was like a wire or something. Water hose. So I heard y'all made it. Wait, which one's which? I can't well, tell. Let's see. Uh, the bigger one. So this this is Nick and that's Nora. And Penny is. She's probably inside. So I heard. So I heard y'all made it. Yep, we believe. We are looking at piglets. Oh, you could just walk right in there. I forgot it was still open. Yeah, we opened it all up. And see, I think this is where we're going to make a pen for Penny. Right here. This will be the gate. Yeah. And so he'll come through here to Penny's pen. Yeah. And that's where she Ooh. will have her baby. I forgot you do that to me. <laughs> he'll go up and go, mm. Yeah, hey, be gentle on the knees. Don't let him knock your knees because knees are very delicate. Take out your knee real easy. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh. They're getting too close. You guys, chill out. Hey, chill out. I will yeah, smack you with it. You're a good boy, it. but just chill out, okay? We'll start bringing a stick in here and smacking you with well, it. Well, we're going to have to get a cattle prod. Your grandpa doesn't want to, but I don't think he's safe without one anymore. Not with this many pigs and this many cows. Ooh. Hey! You're right there. No! me. Come on. I'm trying to lick my shoe. I'm trying to lick my shoe. And then I think you just... Okay. Good old... Mm -hmm. Hang on, you don't have to pull it that tight. Oh. Otherwise you can't hardly get it off. Yeah. Here, let me do it. Okay. And then, yes, I said in the last few episodes, I think this is the extension. This is the extension to the cow pen that we put in. I think it was last year that we put it in there. And then this, as you can probably already hear, is the new chicken pen that we, I think, built. Yeah, we built, well, my grandpa built it a few weeks ago. And uh, I'll go ahead and take a look inside of it, see if I can. I forgot it opens inward and not outward. Yeah, it's different. What are you guys doing in here? It's like having to go through a locked gate or something. Fancy feet, guys, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. These are pairs. The, these are the batch with the fancy feet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess you guys can kind of see it there. <laughs> the wonders of a GoPro, huh? <laughs> so what? So what are these ones in this one? Gramas and then golden grays. I believe that's correct. We'll have, we'll have Grandpa confirm. I believe that's what we have back here. Yep. So if we get pure Brahma eggs, then we can add some cows. And then we can breed show chickens. That's mostly what they are. Yeah. And you see my work on the tree? Oh yeah, I was I was here last time when we did it. So you were bending it, you were training it basically to go to just bend over basically. I'm making the tree into a cave. Basically, yeah. So she made it to where she just arched it over, yeah, basically. It over. She's training it. So basically what we're saying is she's training it to just kind of be like a cave almost. Arch over. And then, are you going to grow more in Glories here again mm -hmm. like last time? Or? Yep. I have. Those are some of the ones that are under domes in the oh, yeah. building now. So what about this, this, the tomato forest? Yep, the tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers and oh. add some other things. Yeah, armadillo. Funky, huh? My mom got it's us. a dinosaur looking guy. What happened to its uh, inside? We don't know. 
We think there's going to be something happens to it. Okay. So what? <laughs> so we're just gonna go around and explaining what. what wait, have you planted? Started planting in these yet? Nope. No. The seed, some of the seeds are there, and some of them I will plant today or tomorrow. So. Mm -hmm. This is just weeds, basically. Yep. They're yeah. the only. Oh, one that's there's weeds. hardly. Is that one, and that's asparagus, and it has to grow for a couple of years before you can really harvest. This so, one right here. Yeah. So we're just basically building a root clump in that. We can't really harvest it yet. I mean, I think you kind of see the little yeah. stubs on there. If you guys can see that. Those are little seed pods. But yes, that's the only thing. That, that's I think rosemary coming up again. This one right here. Uh -huh. And this is my one little blueberry that's still alive. We'll see Wait, if we can bring them back. Running. Oh, you can see, I think those are thorns. Are those thorns on the book? Yeah. But I think that's the only things that are perennials that came back. These are just weeds. Mm -hmm. weeds I do bad. have a mower that I'm wanting to test out. So maybe we could test that out. Maybe today if we have time or maybe tomorrow. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. Okay. We have water that goes all the way back to that back hen house now. That's good. And water that goes Ooh. all the way up to the front corner of the front yard. Nice. Okay. So, update with the garden over there. If you guys can see that. I really wish this thing could zoom in, but it can't. But. I wonder why there's just a big old ditch right here. Well, that's going to be a sculpture. This thing? This thing. Oh, this thing. Yeah, Avery and Easton and I talked it over. Like when they were here? Yeah. Okay, so explain what is going on because I have no idea what's going on. You have no idea what's going on. So in the, the smaller circle, there are five. Yes. Because I have five kinds of milkweed. Milkweed? Isn't that like a butterfly thing? Oh. Like oh five yeah, that's kinds what, of it. That's what um the bird the butterflies that fly to Mexico that that's eat it. That's the one, the monarchs. Monarchs, yes, yes thank you. They one of them is a butterfly milkweed. But yes, I have five rings in in closer to the house. And that's going to be the milkweeds. And then I have four that are a little further away. They will be echinacea, three echinacea kinds. And the fourth one is valerian. Those are medicinal herbs. You could see Manford from here. <laughs> you could see Manford from here. When the sky is clear and the trees are not too high. You could see Manford from, what is that, like, what, 30 miles maybe? Something like that. From all the way over here. Yeah. How? Wait, have you already started planting in this one? Or? No, that is what I dug up from. That's the turf I dug up from here, mm. and I filled in a hole. Nice. There's different places where I dropped in pieces of turf because it won't wash away with yeah. the rain. There, there's totally not a dead chicken that was here before. There Let's well, just, yeah. There's totally wasn't a dead chicken. Let's just move no. on. Don't ask any questions. Moving on. Yeah. Don't ask We're any questions. We're gonna do a pumpkin patch over there. Where? And come over there on that side of the drive. Do uh, pumpkin yeah. patch and probably cow peas. C cow, what, what? Cow peas. Oh. Pea that's like that long. <laughs> Different colors. Shh. We can cool. listen. Those are coyotes, aren't they? Sounds like it. Yeah. <sighs> what if I try? To be out and about. It's what? A weird time for them to be out and about. Yep. <clears throat> they ever come on the farm, I'll just tell Grandpa and I'll shoot them down. Mm -hmm. if, they ever, if they ever come, I'll just tell Grandpa, hopefully. Either we let them pass or the jury shoots well, them down. The plan will warn them off before <laughs> they ever come near here. Yeah. If they hear her bark, they won't come around. They'll really, is that something what, easier. Is that, is that what their genes kind of... Yeah. About? If it's a big throaty dog, big throaty dog, they aren't gonna tangle with it. They'll pick something easy. <laughs> and a big throaty dog is usually not easy. Which she's a big throaty dog, yeah, basically. She's isn't a cream she? puff, but she sounds me. So, update with the Ford. Anything going on with the Ford? Mm. 
We have to air up the tire so you can use it, but we need to because we have some plowing and brush hogging and it's to be done. So Which, we know that if we air it up- Did you just it sit on my more, foot? Well, she has figured out that in order for her to get us to stand still, she has to sit on our feet. Did you just sit on my foot? She did. She, she just sat on my foot. foot. To keep you from walking away from her. This is her new she trick. If she sits on your feet, you can't go anywhere. She's learned this. Alrighty, let's, I think this will be our last little bit and we can, unless if you're wanting to stay outside. Doesn't, Whatever. Doesn't You've matter. the big stuff. Yep. So, anything new with these barns here? Not really. Uh, any new pen updates that we should know about? Or? We've just been making plans for the vines and the pest repellent plants and stuff. Yep. Where they're going to go and where the buckets are going to go. Let's see here. Let's just look in, let's just yeah, take a look in good. here. You know, doing maintenance, doing spring stuff. Okay. Cut the dead, it's not in its home. Yeah. It's away from home. <laughs> oh, there's a ton. I mean, yeah. that's something. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me just... You have to turn it inside him. Yeah, you've just, you just completely ruined this by pushing. Okay, hold on. It's a clever design. So what? The hood's just... The hood is just here. Look, there's one now. Just a, at least there's a look. The bottom of the hood looks like. And then there's the sprayer. I can't use it because the coconut. Oh, so we have a whole bunch of cedar to chip for the walk in the front. Oh, really? That's one of the projects that we can do. We've already cut all the cedar limbs. We just have to gather them up, bring them over, and chip them. So maybe we do that while you're here if you want to. And then I just. We can do whatever you want to do that sounds like that. Yeah, I went out with loppers one day and cut down all the limbs on all the cedar. On the fence line. Really? I stripped them from, from there all the way. To oh, the wow, you did. So they're all cut there, and all we have to do is go through with the trailer and pick them up and then carry them out front and chip them off. Which that is a job for the four since the cup mm -hmm. hit it again is my here. You got it. Really so, kind of makes things hard, but mm -hmm. we'll adapt. Yeah. We have options. But that's something we could do while you're here if you want to. Otherwise, you can wait till you're back at school. Hmm. Chris is getting kind of tall, don't you think? It's beginning to. It's getting kind of tall. <coughs> we see patches. Mm. I think it's time for me to start mowing again. And we'll of course, those later, so we pull them out of the grass. That'll Try to clean up the clem picks every day. That'll make it. Well, hopefully. Hopefully the grass is good enough to where I can mow. I don't think it is because look how short it is. Yeah, not a lot. But there's plenty to do. We have several things that we need to spray when the Cub Cadet comes back. That's something we can have you do. Yeah. We do couldn't be connected run. to the Ford or is that just too small for it? It's, it's just too small and it requires a battery hook. Really? Yeah. And which the Ford does not have was... No, Let's it go has, to... It has the PTO, but it, I don't think it has the power. Let's see, because I know the Ford does have the PTO, because you have to use the PTO to connect to other stuff. Uh, okay. mm, no, I think I only see the PTO. Yep. Besides, whatever these things are. Oh, those are just bolts. Yep, yep, just the PTO, which the PTO is used to connect to the brush hog. Yep. And that's pretty much the only thing that it uses for. So far. Well, yeah. it will eventually hook to the cement mixer, too. When we fix it. Yes. But for now. Or at least get it on the tractor, then fix it. Yes. But, uh... And the wheels for my carts should... Did they come in today, or they, they were delayed? So maybe they'll come in tomorrow. Right, what wheels? Well, for what carts? The garden carts. Mm. The wheels went flat, huh? They were supposed to be here yesterday. Yeah. I'll check again at the end of the day and see how close they are. Okay. But that's another thing that's in the process of fixing. So lots of stuff going on in the farm. Okie dokie, and then... We we just went around the whole place, didn't we? But we've got new fishies. We've got new fishies in there. Up in there. Just 
seem to be doing amazing. So hopefully we can. Uh, so hopefully we will be good to go for the next day on the farm. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I want to post a new video. And see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.